Jewel, Jewel, Jewel's here from Jewel's Designs and JT Creations. So the last um, one we were making tags. Um, just to recap, I have done a few more. So I've I've done that one. That one we done. Um, I did this one. So we've got a vellum pocket, a vellum pocket there, and I put some. We've got a vellum pocket there. We've got little squirrel, toad stools, ribbon. Okay. Now, also offline, what I did was I made a pocket for the inside of one of the signatures. Um, I used a die cut um, because I like the envelopes. I like the windows in the envelopes. Um, so what I did was I just took a, a piece of... Um, digital paper and then I also drew round it and I made it like a, a, a double pocket um, I don't know why I do that because I've not given any gusset in this one but then I decorated it um, I did some decoupage I did some leaves and it's got a journaling space and it, it um, I'll maybe put some lined paper on that uh, or just darken it down with with ink so that's that one and I also put just a little half circle well less than a half circle so that's that one so what I want to do is I want to do the same in this signature as well so what i will do along this um video um of of doing the de decorating the pages up is i'll do one offline and one online so i like that i also um would like to do an envelope pocket sorry about that so i would like to do an envelope pocket um this is just an envelope that we've had something in and I cut the top. Now it won't fit on the page. So the, what I'll do is I'll ink my page up just so you can see on camera. All right, I don't know whether it makes much difference, but I can see it from here. Um, so we need to take a bit off that. So what I might do is take quite a bit off this side to kind of centre that. Um, I'm not going to have a flap coming over, I don't think. In fact, I might. And then if we take it in by about there, that should centre that. So right. I'm good. Take it. That's better. And I think that is enough. So what I will do is I'll leave this one but what I am going to do is I'm going to take this flap um, part of it off because no what I'll do is I will put it down here and bend it over and glue it down that will just give that edge some extra support And I'm just going to cut it down a little bit further. Yeah, we've got a bit there, so we need to take a bit off the edge. So we'll get my 
the glue mat up. All right, and then that probably will fit one of these. What I can do with this is we can have a tag. You know, they're just a bit too big, but we can have one of these tags at the back. Um, I've got some smaller tags. So what I want to do is I want to cover this. What I tend to do when I cut a flap, just to make sure that it stays the same, I tend to just and just round it off a bit there we are and there we have Our, and you can see this is straight but this isn't so what I might do is I might take care of that once it's stuck down now what I need to do is I need to get the um, the window now sometimes I have done this and poked holes in and then gone on the holes um, All right, this should be the one. We'll see. There we are. And that's one of those that now if I can't see, I can see it. But if you've got one of these flat light boxes, what you can do is you can put your paper in it like that. Make sure, because it is upside down, so just make sure that you've got it. Make sure that the bottom is lined up. And the uh, I've still got my my little tiny light box that <laughs> you got years ago. Um, I let the kids use it. Is that? And as you can see, I've gone over it a little bit. Doesn't matter. Um, lift it up. That's fine. I'm going to ink the inside. I'm going to put some leaves around it anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, I am going to stitch it as well but what I usually tend to do is stitch all my tags and everything at the just before I put them in the, the journal
Um, there is a video on how I um, decorated these leaves with ink and things. So I think what we might do is put that there. Some yellowy ones out. Here we do this. We do this. Right, I think that's enough. Um, yep. Yeah. And what I am going to do is I'm going to stick these down with this fabric tack. No, that's too much like the um the one that I've taken out of like this one. That's all right. Right, we'll put this one in. And I am gonna do this one carefully around the edge because I don't want any little bits flapping off and catching on any tags that you put in the envelope um, husband in with coffee so I'm going to get a little visitor in a minute here she is hello hello she just comes up to make sure I'm still here and I guess to me I'm going to glue this one down as well. I always glue that back in there. And that's that one. Now we need a piece to go over the top. 
No, I don't want to cut into that. Um, how about some tartan? And it is vellum, it's been printed on, it's been embossed, so I am using Fabri-Tac just to stick it down. And do I want vellum? <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll put that inside as well. So I will let that dry before I fold it back over. And as I say, that will get um, glued and then put in the, the journal. Um, in here. And the pump the pumpkins, I know those two are upside down, but the rest of them were the, the right way. So I quite like that. So we'll choose uh where possible is often untried which is true some people if they think it's impossible they don't try it if you don't try it you never know do you <laughs> so as my son says nothing's rocket science mum <laughs> you can find it on google <laughs> Or YouTube. And where do we want this? Do we want it up here? No, we'll have this down here. Like that. And what I will do is I'll do some of this. This is the Cosmic Shimmer Coloured Pearlescent PVA. This is the Olympic Gold. This is the one that I've been using on my tags. Um, that's a bit, I'm just putting some and we'll put some up, up here and it just dries a nice, um, a nice goldy pearlescent colour. I think that's it, we might do some up here, some little. There we, there we are. And I did have some of these and I didn't use them. But I will use them somewhere. So when that's dried, 
<coughs> will be seal. stitched before it goes in. I will even up that um, uh, and I will fold it. I just want It is allowing me to fold now, so that's what it will look like. And what I may do is I may do like a policy um, fold it and put like a leafy button or something, um, or a button that goes in, you know, with the um, in with it, and then just put some. I've got I got some nice. Um, where is it some nice twine from the garden shop it's called tools and i thought it's a lovely color and it goes with the ribbon um that i've chosen so i've got that and i've got the the normal um twine color and i think together they look nice with the autumn colors so anyway so i will see you in the next video. Bye!